Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and more on EW Fight Forever, as the game is currently playable at this year's Tokyo Game Show, and while we've yet to hear anything official, lots of new info has begun to come out thanks to various counts of fan footage and early previews. So we're going to go over all the new details, but before we do that, if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with all the latest wrestling game news, then please do hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss out on future videos. So let's talk AEW Fight Forever, as THQ Nordic are currently in Japan for the Tokyo Game Show, where similar to Gamescom, the publisher have a large area set up, with a booth including a full-size AEW ring for exhibition matches, as well as a demo area for players to go hands-on. As part of the promotion, several stars from AEW have flown out for the show, including Kenny Omega, who was originally planned to be a part of the game's promotion. However, while Kenny is in Japan, Dave Meltzer reports that Omega won't be taking part in any of the game's promotion due to his current suspension. Instead, it appears that Omega is there of his own accord, as his travel plans were already in place. Making the most of the situation, as we reported on Wednesday, Kenny Omega paid a visit to Sega's headquarters, where it was later revealed that he'd been scanned for the Yakuza engine, with this suggesting that Kenny may be featured in the upcoming Yakuza 8. Getting back to AEW, in the absence of Kenny Omega, Christopher Daniels and Michael Nakazawa led a short panel where they announced several matches that would be taking place over the coming days, though in regards to the game, no new announcements were made and no official footage was shown off. While no new deals were officially announced, thanks to the hands-on area, new deals and off-screen camera footage has made its way online, where it was revealed that the build of the game is a new Japanese build, though like the Gamescom build, it only contains six playable characters, Hikaru Shida, Kenny Omega, Thunder Rosa, Paul White, Adam Cole and CM Punk. Taking a look at the selection screen, there's a few things to take away from this, the first being that the game features two different styles of wrestler selection, as alongside this thumbnail view showing off previews of each of the wrestlers, the developers have also included a text list, with players able to quickly switch between views using the X button. Taking this approach is a great solution to help satisfy players that prefer one view over the other, as this puts the choice in the hands of the player. Also apparent from the footage is the absence of overall ratings, as while we're all accustomed to seeing some stars rated higher than others, some let's no mercy, Fight Forever doesn't include ratings on the selection screen, which when you think about it is probably a good move, as seeing a low rated star might put someone off using them, so I kinda like that approach, though that's not to say that there won't be some kind of rating system in place somewhere. Moving on to some of the match gameplay that was shared, here we have new footage of Adam Cole taking on Hikaru Shida. Now I won't show the full match, I'll let you check out the Game Club's channel for that, though one of the things that I do want to highlight here is the various selling animations, as there seems to be a big improvement in the amount of these and their variety, as similar to No Mercy, the game does a great job of selling the more high impact moves, as wrestlers can be seen writhing around in pain after taking major damage, with other animations showing them holding their face or clutching at their lower back. Also shown in the footage was the strong version of the Irish Whip, which sends your opponent over the ropes to the outside, where the gameplay then shows off some of the environmental actions, where the player can be seen thrown into the ring apron and the barricade, which is very similar to the early footage of Darby Allen. As with the gameplay that was released officially, it's apparent from this footage that there is still some fine tuning needed, as there's several moments where strikes don't connect or where animations quickly jump from one to the other, but overall, from watching this playthrough and from hearing the feedback, it looks like the game is pretty fun to play and easy to pick up, even for players that don't play wrestling games, which should make it more appealing to a wider audience. Staying with fan footage, Twitter user Monster Brunch has also been sharing some off-screen footage where they've posted several finisher clips including CM Punk hitting the GTS on Kenny Omega and Paul White taking out Punk with a choke slam. Sharing their initial impressions on the game, Japanese website gamespark.jp claimed that the game was a very simple yet exhilarating challenge before going on to note a pretty interesting gameplay feature as they noted that using the same move over and over again leads to a warning that you're using the same technique and then scolding the player telling them that they're getting monotonous in the game and not to play it too salty. 
It's unclear if this warning was one of the tutorial screens featuring William Regal or if it was part of the commentary, but it's good to see the developers encouraging players to use a variety of moves rather than spamming the same action over and over again. Looking ahead, the Tokyo Game Show continues to take place over the weekend, so there is still a chance that we may see some official news announced, though going off the comments from Dave Meltzer in regards to AW pulling Kenny Omega from the show, then it's possible that we may have to wait for any new announcements. Anyway guys, that's the latest news that I have coming out of the show, but let me know what you think of the new footage in the comments, and if you want to check out the videos in full, then I'll leave a link to both the Game Club's channel and Monster Brunch's Twitter page in the video description. Until next time though, thank you so much for watching this video, have yourself an awesome day, and I'll catch you later.